Well, today marks 10 years since the deadliest tsunami on record set off by a massive earthquake off Indonesia's coast. It killed more than 220,000 people. NBC's Katie Tur has more. Katie, good morning. Good morning. It was a decade ago today that the world woke up to an unimaginable disaster. A tsunami that ripped through 14 countries and left towns flattened, including here in Kaulak, Thailand, where today's survivors are recounting those scary moments and remembering those lost. On 26th of December 2004, uh, we woke up with Simon and, and took a stroll on this beach. That wave oh is a good God. 15, 20 feet tall. An hour later, the beach was overcome and a wave like no one had ever get seen in, in. was crashing into Petro Nemkova's hotel room. Uh, I didn't know what tsunami was. I never heard the word tsunami before. You never heard it? Never. never. Suddenly, she and the love of her life were sucked out to sea. Eight hours later, the supermodel was clinging to a tree. A palm tree like this one was uh, my, my savior. Her boyfriend, Simon Atley, just one of more than 5,000 on the west coast of Thailand who didn't make it. A decade later, Khao Lak is rebuilt and the tourists have come back. But the lost are long from forgotten. To the south, on Indonesia's northern tip, is Banda Aceh, just 150 miles away from the epicenter of that 9.1 quake that caused the tsunami. There, the anniversary was marked by prayers for the dead. 130,000, one third of this coastal community, killed in a matter of minutes. Suchi never found her mother, brother, or sister. And the worst thing is you could not do anything. Like but from Aceh to Kaulak, the focus is now on a brighter, stronger future. Mangrove trees to protect the coastline, earthquake-proof homes, the face of a lost loved one in a one-year-old child. And on a Thai beach where so much was taken, a smile from a survivor. The tsunami has given me uh, many gifts, and one of them is to, be ha to have this consciousness of how lucky I am. And Nemkova says she's so lucky because she's been able to open 107 schools for kids in places that have been torn apart by natural disasters. That is why she says she smiles every day. Guys, back to you. Katie Turr, thank you.